So hello and happy Easter. This is take two. I got to this point about 10 minutes ago and realized I didn't have my camera. Here's the audio when I found out. Oh no, I haven't picked up my bloody phone. I haven't got a camera. What an idiot, what an absolute <laughs> idiot. Anyway, last time I forgot my bottle, this time I forgot my camera. <laughs> I'm also out on Easter Sunday. It's absolutely beautiful and sunny. It's gonna get up to 15 degrees today. Shorts are on and I've got my arms out as well. I was a bit chilly yesterday because the sun was hiding behind the clouds, but when the sun's out, it is nice and warm. But I don't know where I'm going today. This is the first time I've been out without a route since I don't know when. But yesterday I went out on the tandem with Deb and we did the new bit of the strawberry line at Westbury. And I'm gonna go there first, that's where I'm heading. Everything else is a mystery. Who knows where I could end up today? No, me, I'll probably forget my bike and leave that at the cafe. <laughs> Vlog life. Right, just before I get onto the strawberry line, just past Easton, I'm in the village of Easton. Um, and this is the strawberry line and uh, there's some exciting news and some exciting works happening. It doesn't look so from this side, but when I get to the other side, you'll see exactly what I mean. But the plan is for this little valley, the old railway line, to join up with that bit of West Spring, get all the way to Cheddar and all the way to Shetland Mallet. So work has started at the other end and I know it started out near um, Dolcott Tip, so probably not that far away. But this side is far more exciting because they've actually started clearing it, ready to make it the bike path and join it up with a little bit they've got at Westbury. So very exciting that you can be able to cycle all the way from Yatton to Shepton Mallet, pretty much off road. Right, so here's the entrance. You see it's not quite finished on this aspect. Me and Deb managed to get the tandem up here yesterday, but it is a bit bumpy. But it's worth it going down for the strawberry line, isn't it? Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Just not this bit. Yeah. It's nice down there though. Yeah, that's that's where I'm heading. Let's go. Alright, let's take a look at our weather forecast today. Today's forecast, a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just the perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, away feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call because I'm gonna be on breath. Although they did build an industrial estate right at the end of this bridge. <laughs> so they're going to have to go around it somehow to link up with Cheddar, but yeah, exits that way and Westbury Village. I've somehow convinced myself to go up the Westbury Quarry climb and get up onto the top of the Mendips. Mainly because the other two options, Draycott Steep and Cheddar Gorge. It's probably a bit further than I want to go today. Although, oh, Draycott Steep one day. <laughs> Might take a lot of persuading. You might have to comment down below if you want to see me struggle up Draycott Steep. And the Westbury Quarry Climb, there's no pit -like.
Oh, I've got a bit warm coming out of that climb. But at the top here, it's a few degrees colder and windier, and the sun's just hidden behind the clouds. So all that uh, sweat I've just got is just freezing on my body now. <laughs> and I've got to go back down the hill to Wells. Oh, what a beautiful day. In a funny few weeks, I uh, had a great holiday in Albufeira in Portugal. Flew in, raining. <laughs> Been a mixed weather. I managed to get on the beach, have a nice paddle, watch the sunset, a nice relaxing week, and then only came back and got man flu, and then I've taken two weeks to recover. So I'm just trying to ease myself back into it before we start having some more adventures. I think next week we'll be ready. Um, felt good the last two days. I did 80k yesterday on the tandem with Deb. I've done, well it'll be 60k by the time I get home and I will be doing 30k, my plan was to do 30k for 30 days um, tapping away on Zwift, um, committing crimes against cycling, <laughs> Zwifting when the nice sunny afternoon the other day but it's just so convenient at the minute for me try and get my fitness back, try and shift a bit of weight and uh, get back out exploring on the bike and having a laugh making some videos Right, so I'm back on the uh, strawberry line just the other side of Wales. They had resurfaced this not that long ago and it's uh, got quite bumpy in such a short space of time, but there is a new bit and there are some exciting works going on on the Shepton Mallet well side. That means this could go all the way to Shepton Mallet at some point. So that's currently the end of the new bit that they put in from Dolcott to Charlie Bigham's quarry. But they are building now over the other side. They've cleared it, they've got the gravel ready. So I don't know how long that's gonna be. Hopefully by the end of the summer, fingers crossed. But yeah, exciting times for the strawberry line. Yeah, so they've started doing this bit in here. Oh, let me just get off. So that's where I just was down there. And that's where it's going. And it's coming right behind the tip and it's going all the way along there and up over the hill. And of course that means going up another stupidly short steep hill. Right, that's it for me. I've just about had enough, 53k on the clock, uh, been out in the sun, it's lovely and warm, nice day to get out and spin the legs, um, but yeah, try not to overdo it, so it's not quite gone to plan the last few weeks, but I'm back in the swing of it, and uh, have a nice new camera as well to play with, if I remember to bring it, <laughs> wonder what I'm going to forget next week, anyway, we'll see you in the next video, thanks for watching.